We are here with the patient, female, and we're going to examine her energy levels with a technique known as electropuncture, according to Vol. With this instrument, we will measure the energy present in the patient's meridians. From the measurements, we will be able to see if the patient's energy fluxes are normal. This point indicates the lymphatic system. This is a scale of values which goes from 0 to 100, a reference index, which has been established by convention in which the level 50 represents normality, or at least that's what we should be aiming towards. If the values are higher than uh, 50, they indicate an inflammatory reaction. If the values are lower than 50, they indicate degenerative phenomena. In short, if the white line appears, the meridian presents some anomaly, there is something wrong. This is the meridian of the lungs. This is the meridian of the large intestine. This is the nervous system, the circulation. These are the patient's allergic processes. This, the cellular metabolism, indicates the presence of degenerative layers of cells. It's very important. This is the endocrine system, very important for a woman. The heart and the small intestine. We will now repeat what we have done on the right hand to the left hand. Why are we doing this? Because our organs are evenly matched. So this is the first chart referencing the projection of the energies present in the patient's hands. The white parts, basically, indicate an energy drop, an energy drop. As you can see, in this patient, there are some allergies or intolerances, and the most important apparatus is that of the endocrine. We will now move on to the feet. Here we are analyzing the meridian of the pancreas. Now the liver. Here it's dropping a lot. In fact, this is the organ which has shown the greatest fall in the index. This is the stomach. The skin. The coelocyst. Now the other foot. This is the spleen, very important for the immunitary system. These are the articulations. The articulations are in a mess. The stomach. This is the patient's overall chart. So we have completed it. And we can see that the meridian, with the biggest energy drop, in, in other words, with the longest white strip, is the meridian of the articulations, then the meridian of the liver, the endocrine system, and after that, the allergies, the gallbladder. We've got our work cut out here. 
This is the bacterium coli. That means that the patient has a dysbiosis in the intestine. So now we'll see the strength of these bacteria. Well, <laughs> with these coxsackie, it's very probable. This is the same virus you have inside, so the virus you have in your articulations is also present in the eye. The patient has a number of problems. We have taken two of these problems. As far as the conjunctivitis is concerned, we have found a virus of the Coxsackie group A3, and the same virus is present in the articulations and is causing an inflammation and a pain in the joints. In the intestine, we have seen the presence in excessive quantities of the bacterium coli, so the patient will have to suspend the consumption of milk and dairy products and undergo a treatment which I will give her later. So now I've been asked to conduct this test again, while the patient holds this photograph in her hand. I don't know how, but there's something here which has chained everything. It's incredible. Good gracious. Change it over. Change it over to the right side of the body. So, this is the first part of the test. Yes, it really is incredible. I don't know what's happening, but it would take six months of treatment to get to this stage. So, this is the examination of the patient while she holds the photo in her hand. I don't know who this person is, but it is incredible. Look at the differences. First, the test carried out without the photo. This is the difference between the two tests. This one on the left with the photo and this one without the photo of the hands and the feet. It's really incredible. Something has modified the state of her energy levels. No, it's impossible. No, it's impossible. If we give her any old pieces of paper, give me that piece of paper. It's impossible. This machine is like a lie detector. It's really incredible. I mean, in theory, by carrying this photo about on her person, her regulating systems are regularized automatically without medication. I've never seen it before. I've seen all sorts of things. I could show you a lot of things, but I have never seen a phenomenon of this kind. Basically, it has the same effect as constitutional in homeopathy. If we administer a constitutional, it gives the same effect but comes from a medication, from a plant, from a mineral, from a vegetable, but from a photo, that's incredible. Look at the effect. It's really clear-cut. We can take anything else, nothing else changes. I don't know what this photo's got, but the patient touches a piece of paper of any kind, of any thickness, size or color, nothing happens. She just goes back to being as ill as she was before. We can try some other things.
This is no placebo effect, don't worry. Not at all, this is a lie detector. In this object there is something that alters the patient's energies. This photo, I don't know what it's got, but it emits something which changes people's biological cycles, so... Of course, it gives them good health, but I don't know how this phenomenon occurs. Inside it, there's something which normalizes living beings, so it regularizes the biological cycles with extremely positive results. See these other levels. You need to have to be well so that the body isn't separate from the mind and the mind follows the body and vice versa. This is the correct amount of energy. We could, shouldn't see any of the phenomena that we saw earlier of drops in the index levels. But what happens is that when we take the photo away, it all goes back to how it was before. But you need to have the receiving station because if we don't have the station, do we have this? I mean, not many people are equipped to receive this phenomenon. What is this receiving station? It means that in addition to having it, you have to make yourself available to receive it. Basically, you have to train yourself, concentrate, absorb it. In other words, see to it that you become an antenna capable of receiving. So, in practical terms, she transmits to her helpers. Now we're redoing the test after that, after the treatment. Here on the left are the results of the latest test after the treatment. This is before the treatment, these are the hands, so these are the hands after the treatment, and here the hands before the treatment. Now for the value. See, this is the original test with her disease. Let's see now if we can find any trace of these bacteria. Nothing. There's no trace. <coughs> Nothing. I could not even prescribe a treatment at the moment because, to all intents and purposes, she's cured. The only thing is, we'd have to see if this phenomenon lasts. That is, I ask myself, is it just a transfer of energy? Once the transfer has passed, will the normal energy levels come back and will the bacteria reappear? Certainly. If by meditating every day a person always has optimum levels of energy, it is possible. But how can this be brought to the masses? It is not possible to bring it to the masses.